Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Alex, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. And this is going to be a Valentine's Day tutorial because Valentine's Day is just a couple of days away. So I wanted to give you all a tutorial so that way you don't feel lost when you go to do your makeup when you're going out with your boyfriend or your best friend for a movie or whoever else. But this look was so much fun to create. So if you want to learn how to do this look, just keep watching. All right, guys. So we're gonna go in with the Cover FX Illuminating Primer to prime my face first because you know you gotta prime first. The foundation we're using today, I'm gonna. It's gonna be like a review, I guess. But I got the the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, and I got two colors. I wasn't sure which two colors to get, so I got. 110 and 102. It went from like 102 to 110, so that's really all the choices that you had. But I've heard really good things about it, and I'm really excited to try it. So, so I'm gonna mix 102 and 110. I'm gonna be taking this on a Morphe M439 brush. So I've heard a lot of great things about this one. I was really excited to try it out. I'm hoping that it covers up everything I needed to cover up because my skin is ridiculous right now literally so stupid. I'm gonna try to go over my like nose and stuff with the beauty blender and see if it like sinks into the skin any better just because I feel like this brush some, sometimes like drugstore foundations like to move around um as, well especially on me but sometimes if you just pat them down with the beauty blender it like just gets all up in your pores and can sink in really quickly so and y'all gonna have to let me know how you like this background because it's my first time ever using a background that's not like my house but I think it's cute I, I really like it I think it's a good change you know from my two videos that are, have the same background. I was getting sick and tired of seeing the same background on my Instagram. I was just like, you gotta change it up, girl. You gotta, you gotta do something about it. Wow, this is really full coverage. I really like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in light. I'm gonna have to mix a little bit of Fair Neutral in with it, just because it just, it just doesn't highlight me as good as I really want it to, like I want it. And I'm just gonna highlight in the middle of the forehead, and I'm just gonna blend this out with the Beauty Blender. So now we're gonna set my eyes and I'm gonna use the Shade Light Palette, the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here. And I'm gonna be setting my eyes with a, it's a Morphe 438. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with this, it's called Lancome. And it's the Absolute Powder. I've heard a few people talk about this and um, I've been really like loving it. I usually use a Charlotte Tilbury, but uh, I really like this one because it like, it's like an illuminator. So it makes your skin look really healthy and fresh. And right now where mine is so angry, it literally looks so dull and it's dry right now. So I'm just gonna use this to brighten my face up. So I'm just gonna put this on, whoa, <sighs> got a little, a little heavy handed with the brush. And I'm just using this, this is just a Morphe E3. After that, I'm gonna fill in my brows and I'm gonna fill in my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera and I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and it's in medium brown. Um, and it looks just like this, it's just like a cream. I put it on my brows with an angle brush and I really like it. It's actually, I think my brush is Anastasia, the Anastasia brand. I haven't found any any brow brushes that I like better than the Anastasia ones, so I just continued to use them because they're my favorite. So we're gonna go and jump into our eye look. Today I'm gonna be using two different palettes and the first one I'm gonna be using is the Morphe 15 in, oh no. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Why? But anyway, so I'm gonna be using the 15 in and this is a really nice palette. It was in their Christmas collection. It comes in a hard plastic palette instead of one of the thinner palettes that they usually come in. Then when you open it, it looks like this. I'm also going to be using the 24G, and this thing is a road boss. It is huge. Like this, when you open it, the pans are twice or three times the size of those. They're huge. But I thought this was like the perfect Valentine's palette. And I'm going to zoom you in too so you can see a little better. Okay, so now that you all are zoomed in real good and all up in my business, we're going to take the Morphe 15N palette. I'm going to go ahead and take custom right here. And I'm gonna dip a Morphe M533 is what I'm using. I'm just gonna go all over the lid. This is gonna be our transition shade. 
so now we're gonna go in with another shade we're gonna go in with goals and it's like this brown shade right here I'm gonna take it on a e22 brush I'm just gonna dip it in goals and then I'm gonna put it on the outer edge of the crease you're gonna blend honey you gotta blend all right, so I'm still using this palette, but I'm gonna go in with Vol Vol Voom. I'm gonna take this, this is on a Sigma E35. So I'm gonna dip into Vol Vol Voom, and this is like a mauve rose color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to blend in the crease in windshield wiper motions and circle motions. So we're gonna go in with Hello, and we're gonna put this on the outer edges of our crease. And I'm gonna take this on a Morphe M433, and I'm gonna put it on the outer edges of the crease. So we're just gonna keep working that in down near our lashes. And I'm just dipping back in and just deepening this crease a little more. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder right here next to my eye so that can go ahead and be baking. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to open it like this because I always spill this all over myself. And I'm gonna take a Morphe E47 and just I'm going to go back in with my E22, and I'm just going to... And if you hear, like, any kind of rumbling around, it is this. The, yes, this says Statue of Liberty. It has nothing to do with makeup at all whatsoever. Okay, so we're just going to take a fluffy blending brush, and I just want to go over, like, this whole look with this shadow right here. And this is in the Morphe 24G palette. Like, that makes you think of, like... 24 karat palette in the air. Now that we had a little jam sesh, we're going to take this color right here on the main end. We're going to take a real fluffy brush and we're just going to brush over it just to give it a little bit of like a pinky hue. I'm just going to take my brush like this. I'm just going to like... And then I'm just going to go over this. This is just going to give it like a little rosy, little rosy rose going on. So now we're going to take our MAC 242 brush. So we're going to take our MAC 242 brush and we're going to spray it with some Fix Plus because I want my shadow that I'm putting on to be pigmented. I want it to shine like diamond in the sky. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it just like this. We're going to be taking this color right here and I'm going to be putting it on the first half of my eyelid. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of carve out my eyelid. I'm just dipping back in. I'm not putting any more Fix Plus on my brush. And that's not as loud as I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in with this other shade. It's like a silvery shade. We just went in with this shade right here. And so now we're going to go in with this shade right here. With the same 242 brush. A cream color would look really pretty with this too. I really like the gold and silver, like mixed together, it's like a champagne, it's really pretty. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm just gonna go in and take the Sigma E35, and I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any kind of harsh lines. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lash line, and for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna use a E18, and I'm literally just gonna go back in with the exact colors. Go ahead and do gold, and then I'm going to use Hello. And I'm just putting this like on the outer half of my eye because I want my eyes to look bigger. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corners. And for my inner corners, I have the perfect brush. This is the M508 and it's like a tiny little baby definer brush. And I feel like this gets my inner corners the absolute best. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use actually a highlighter because I feel like they do the best job. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Glow Kit. I don't think this is even available anymore. This is called the Gleam Glow Kit. And this was the first glow kit I believe that Anastasia ever released. But this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It has four shades in it. And the four shades are Hard Candy, Mimosa, Starburst, and Crushed Pearl. And I really like to mix Crushed Pearl with my Kylie Cotton Candy Highlighter. It's like a champagne. It's really, really pretty on the skin. Um, I like to mix it with that. But for my inner corner, I'm just going to take a little bit of Crushed Pearl right here on this M508. And I'm going to put it right here in the corners. Okay, so now we can go ahead and wipe away our bakage with the E3. So I'm just going to wipe that away, and now we have clean, clean lines. I'm going to go ahead and put, our lash, put my lashes on. I'm using House of Lashes, and these are the Boudoir. See, like, I would say that Boudoir. 
but I know that's not right. So we're gonna go in with the boudoir. So I'm gonna take these and pop these on real quick. Now that those are on, I'm using the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Bronzer. And so I'm just gonna dip my Smashbox brush in there. And it smells like chocolate, so if you don't like scented things, you would hate this. But it literally smells good enough to eat. I'm just gonna take that same color and go in with a Morphe M530 and just deepen up the cheekbones. So I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and dip into my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and bake my under eye a little bit. I'm just gonna take the flat part of it and dip in there and just right underneath where we did that lash line. I'm just gonna go in and bake that. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna coat this really good, just like this. I'm gonna coat my sponge and I'm gonna take it from the tip of my ear down to my mouth. Okay, so now that we're baking, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. So I'm gonna use the Kali Cosmetics Cotton Candy Cream Highlighter and it looks just like this. And I'm gonna mix it with Crushed Pearl and the Anastasia, it's this one right here. But I really want it to stand out, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray my brush and I'm using the Morphe 510, or 501. Morphe, Morphe 501, I use the 510 too. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray that and then I'm gonna dip into the Kali Cosmetics um, Highlighter and then into the Anastasia Highlighter. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. We are gonna blind somebody on this Valentine's Day. Now I'm just gonna take this little tiny baby brush. This is a Morphe 506. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to. So the last thing we have to do is, uh, well not the last thing, but one of the last things we have to do is brush this bakage away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this away. And if you don't like want a super harsh line, but you want it cleaned up, you can go back in with your brush that you use for a bronzer and just go over the line. But I always like the, sharp, the sharper line. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on and I'm just taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash and blending those in. Then I'm gonna take MAC Giga Black Lash, it looks just like this, and cut my bottom lashes. So today, since it's Valentine's Day, or it's gonna be Valentine's Day and this is a Valentine's look, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. I feel like it looks good on everyone. I haven't seen one person that looks bad on. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. So now we're gonna go ahead and set the brows. That's the last thing I do because it's just how I do it. And now we're gonna set the face. And I'm gonna use the Morphe Prep and Set. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I had such a fun time creating this look for you. I hope you really enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Well, the best thing to go with a Valentine's Day look is, is a beautiful, lovely nosebleed. <sighs> I love my dogs. I better not have lost it. Jeez, uh, looks like Valentine's Day.